Penny Arcade is taking their vacation this week that they um, didn't invite us to. They don't invite us to, but yeah, we still have work to do, even though some people get to take a break. To, in Hawaii, we just have to soldier on. I feel like this is an opportunity for Chris and I to really show, yes, it could run on autopilot, but what if? What if they come back? And we have really knocked it out of the park. Everything is just paved with gold. What if we showed them that we're Penny Arcade material? We can take over everything. We do the strip. We do all the business what goes on. I Sales. don't know what. Sale things. Uh, the store. Merchandise. That's just sitting there. You're a great designer. You can design t-shirts. I could probably You're put wearing my a t-shirt now? You know them intimately. <laughs> I'm an expert. <clears throat> this is our time to shine. This is our chance to shine. It's magic time. Let's shine. Mike and Jerry are gone for a week. That's three strips because they only do three strips a week as opposed to us who do like 20. I do like 25 at least. Um, but we're, I mean, we're cartoonists too and we're gonna bring our own, our own flavor. Our own sensibilities. You don't see a lot of populist jokes. We could, we could probably do something with that. No one's compared video games to Dadaism. Yeah, that's too cerebral. Hey, but let's work this in. You ready for this? Sony, more like phony, am I right? Oh, that's good. Right? That writes itself. I'm just gonna write that down. It's perfect. And it's a big industry. There's a lot of room for video game commentary from any number of, you know, people, even those who don't really play video games or anymore. Or know anything about the players Because my dad took away my NES because of my grades. Uh, but I kind of see this for me anyway as, as an entry point back into my father's life. That doesn't sound, that doesn't sound right. I feel like that's not I don't like it either. Say. That's why I'm erasing it. Yeah, I don't, I don't use that. This is, this is really hard. Look, yeah. Penny Arcade strips are not that hard to write. Give me a video game. Um, Sin. But not the original one, but like those episodes they released after. Oh, yeah. Okay, so, panel one, Tycho. Hey, Gabe. Have you seen my copy of Sin? Gabe. Yeah. On your mom's nightstand <laughs> after I boned her with sin. And then panel three violence. It's good. Or fire. You wanna play ping pong? Shit, yeah. You can tell uh, how good a ball is by the number of stars on it. What do you got there? I got I got young star. It says so it's a word star. It doesn't have a star on it. No stars at all. No. The word star does that count as a star? You see that? That's not. Never use that one again. We've got our own ladder. Um, it's sort of a semi-pro, like a professional. It's like a JV league, but somehow, but it's better than their ladder. And Scott and I have been going back and forth. We've probably been playing because, ping pong. Because, like, last... I don't know if you saw Rocky or any of the Rocky movies. Yeah. Oh, it's about boxing. I was going to say Rocky. But uh, what Rocky had over the professionals was heart. And I think that's why our ladder's a little bit better because we, we have that heart. We have that eye of tiger. That we actually drew on the board that ladder a little bit above their ladder. Right. So that even though it's like, you know, Robert's number one. But over here it's Scott, but Scott's a little bit higher still because of that, it's that heart bump that takes him over the top. Caught it, double score. Out of bounds. It's called an out shot. That still works though. Mm -hmm. Come on, Scott, bring the fever. Ow! <laughs> so sorry. It's not even a real sport. I'm being honest with you. Back. You suck at ping pong. <laughs> this right here is the. It's what a the bell. fuck are you doing? Yes, it's... it's a bell. Stop it! Listen, this is sacred. This is the heart of Penny Arcade. Every time Mike or Jeff 
makes an important sale, and only when they make an important sale. Then they just give it a boom. But don't ring it. What's wrong? Do you understand? Well, it's not, only for when here. they make an important sale. You're ruining, you're taking the power from it. It's, it's only when you make it an important matter. sale. Come on, man. Stop with the ringing. It's important. Do you want to ring it? Just give it a shot. It's a pan. Makes a good sound. Oh. Hello, governor. Right? I'm here for your bags. I made a sale at Penny Arcade. Penny Arcade. Let's make some sales. Anyone can do this. It's fun, right? Imagine if you made a sale and then you heard that. Who's making sales for the company right now? Nobody. We need to get in those offices. Jeff's office now. Oh, oh my god. Holy shit, it is a sty in here. It smells like tears. Failower's office. Failower's office. That's the misconception about webcomics, is it's given away for free. Right. Well, that's a trick. Yeah. It's not free. There's advertising. There's money coming in there. That's Faye Lauer and Jeff. They're not here. Those relationships have to be maintained. Right. It's like this cauldron of, like, a stew. And they, these guys have left it alone. Like, it's, the witches are out of the cave. It's going to boil over into a mess of lost opportunities. Right. And it's up to us to grab those mops and just start sweeping. All right. Sales. Sales time. Sales. What do we do with the? Does he have any notes on how to make sales or? or? Uh, no, he's got oh. birthday cards. Uh, wait. Okay. Contact. Cards. Cards. Look. There we go. He's got contacts. all kinds of business contacts. This is yes. excellent. Yes. Google. God, Google. What we'll call that would be good get. Square Enix. Who are these people? That's very frightening. I don't know any of these names. Those this are... is really kind of scary. Maybe we shouldn't do this. Maybe. I do not have a degree in I, sailing. Maybe we, let's let it be until they get back. Maybe that can sit. Mike Failauer, oh. his office, home of the Failauer. How can I help you? How can I direct your calls? This is Chris Straub of the Sales Representation Department, and we will. How can I direct your call to me? It was, I mean, I think we learned an important lesson is what we just did. Yeah, I guess we thought that Penny Arcade was people in offices, but it really makes a difference which people are in those offices. And it's more than a sum of its parts. It's more than just a collection of jobs. Yeah, there's a reason why Scott and I are, are in that office, and Eric and Erica and Kiko and Mike and Jerry are in their spaces. Jeff and Failauer. Yeah. And then Robert. They're the ones who all make Penny Arcade what it is. It's magic. It's not just jobs, it's... It's like a, it's like a magical spell and you have all the right ingredients and just a little heart. We learned that this week. Yeah. It's about family. It's about friendship. And it's about heart. They outhearted us. <sighs> it's about binding all of those things together to make... Captain Planet. Porridge. A porridge. And you know what? That, that's what Penny Arcade is about. It really it's about is. a family coming together. It's more together. than a sum of parts. Yeah, and it's an incredible... What the hell are you guys doing in my office? Why are you filming them? Seriously, what's going on? This is Scott's idea. Eric, okay, I don't understand why Eric doesn't get his due uh, at Penny Arcade. Eric does all of the back end. Like, he is the server man. He comes in at, like, noon, stumbles in, drunk, He's I'm pretty probably sure. drunk. But and then, probably just to shake off that anxiety about the weight of this business is on his shoulders. Yeah. He needs to be drunk 100% of the time. But, I mean, he is very important. But not so important that Scott and I couldn't do what he does. I mean, uh, I saw Jurassic Park, yeah. right? It's kind of like that. Once you know his password, his job's done. The computer does everything. It's all ones and zeros. You just need to put them in the right order. <laughs> That's only two things. I know two things. And zero doesn't even, is nothing. One is the only thing in that equation with a value. Yeah, why is he even using zeros at all? He's wasting like 50% of the space. He's padding. Yeah. It's called padding, and it's illegal. We got you, Eric. We got your number.